In this lesson, we are going to cover a couple different approaches to using pop-up screens in WinCC Unified. In preparation for this lesson, I did add in a pop-up demo screen and put a push button called pop-up demo on our main screen to navigate to our pop-up demo screen. So I'm going to open up the pop-up demo screen. I am going to add in a new screen. And we are going to name this screen my pop-up. When this screen is created, it does come in at the full resolution. So I'm going to go down to the screen size and position area, and I'm going to change the height and width of this screen. So the height will be 200, and the width will be 250. I am going to go up to the appearance for this screen and I'm going to change the background color. So I'm just going to pick a blue color. Then I'm going to add in a text box. I'll change the font size. It's going to be called My Pop-Up. And then I'll just center it in the screen. Now I'm going to go back to the pop-up demo screen, and we are going to add a button on the screen that is going to open up this pop-up window. So under Elements, I'm going to drag a button object out onto the screen. The text is going to be Open Pop-up. The first approach, we are going to open up the pop-up window and is going to be global in nature. When the pop-up is global in nature, when we switch screens, the pop-up window will not close automatically. So I'm going to select the push button and I'm going to go down to the events area. I'm going to select the press event and I'm going to go into the screen category of functions. and expand out the screen. There are a couple different functions for opening up a pop-up. We are going to use the open screen and pop-up function. The first parameter that I have to fill in is I have to give a unique window name. So this is an identifier for the window that is going to be opened up. So I'm going to use pwn1 for pop-up window name 1. For the screen name, I'm going to select the screen that we just created. So I will select my pop-up. The close if open, I'm going to change this from false to true. So if the window is already open, when we press this button, the pop-up window would be closed. I'm going to enter in a header for the title area. I'll just call this my pop-up header. The left and top numbers are where the pop-up screen is going to be open. So this is going to be the position on the screen where the pop-up window will be opened. So for my left position, I'm going to put in 200. For my top position, I'm going to put in 40. You do have the option to hide the close button as well, but I'm going to leave that as false so that the close button will be available. I am going to copy the push button that we just created and paste it. I'm going to change the text on this push button. So for this push button, the close of the pop-up window will actually be tied to a screen change. So when we do leave the screen, the window that we just call from this push button will be closed automatically. So I'm going to go down to the events, select the press event area, and there is a property that is called the parent screen path. 
When this is set to none, that means that it is going to be considered a global pop-up and is, the close will not be tied to a screen change. So I'm just going to select the drop down here, pick the selection, and I'm going to use the base screen. So when the base screen or this screen is switched, it will automatically close the pop-up window that was opened with this instruction. So this is one approach to calling a pop-up window. Another approach is to use a screen window object. So I'm going to go into the controls area and find the screen window object, and I'm going to bring that out onto the screen. And I will change the size of it, make it a little bit smaller. With the screen window approach, you do have access to a lot of properties that you can configure with regards to the screen window in terms of how it is going to be displayed or how it is going to behave. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the miscellaneous area and I'm going to change the name. So I'm just going to backspace over the one and call it PU. So this is going to be for my screen window pop-up, just to give it a more unique name. Under the window settings, if I select this drop-down, I do have options to change, you know, whether I want to have a border, not have a border, you know, the window can be, you know, moved, you know, etc. So you've got more capabilities using a screen window. So I'm just going to leave the default settings. I can also change things like the title or like the header area color. So I'll just pick a different color. So now my pop-up window, when that is visible, will have a different header color. Under the miscellaneous properties, I'm going to scroll down a little bit further, and there is a visibility property. Right now, this window, or screen window, will be displayed when the screen is displayed. So I'm going to uncheck this, and then you can dynamically control that visibility property through dynamizations, or we can just change you know, the property values. I am going to right click on the visibility property and select copy property name. Sometimes when you pass in these property names, the names that you see here might be a little bit different when you use an actual function call. I'm going to scroll up to the screen area and I'm going to select the pop-up screen to be displayed within this screen window. So I'm going to pick the my pop-up screen and select it. I am going to add another push button on the screen. And I'll just put in the text open pop up. I will select the push button and select the events tab. And I'm going to go down to the press event. I am going to select the system function that is called set property value. So I have to pick the screen object where I want to change the property. It's going to be the visibility property in this screen window. So I will select that screen window object. For the screen object property name, I will right click and paste. And I'm going to change this zero to a one. So when this open pop-up button is pressed, it will open up the screen window and display the My Pop-Up screen. So I'm going to copy this push button and paste it. Change the text to say Close Pop-Up. We'll go down to the events. And for the visible property, right now the value is 1. I'm going to set that to be 0, so that will close the pop-up screen. I am going to select my HMI, and I am going to start the simulation. I'm going to uncheck the runtime values. 
for Keep Current User Administration and select Load. I will start my Chrome browser. And I will log into the runtime system. I will select my admin user and enter in the password HMI12345 and sign in. Now I will go to the pop up demo screen. Press our first open pop up button. So now this opened up the pop up window at the coordinates that I entered in. I can move this screen around, I can close it. If I open up the screen, this is now a global pop-up window. So if I switch to the main screen, the pop-up window stays open. Now I have to manually close it. I will go back up to the pop-up demo screen. This time I will open it up with our second push button. This time the push button is tied to the base screen. So when I switch the main screen, it will automatically close that pop-up window for me. I will go back to the pop-up demo screen and I will open up our screen window pop-up. So you can have scroll bars in here and then I can also close the pop-up window. You can set a property in the screen window so that the screen window will automatically size to the pop-up screen as well. In this lesson, I covered using pop-up screens in WinCC Unified.